And it says, Nevertheless, the foundation of God standing sure, having this seal, the Lord knoweth them that are his. And let everyone, the name, that name of the name of Christ depart from iniquity. I was watching on the news this morning, um, it was a sodomite on the uh, news. He was a high school student. And um, in the previous past, he'd been bullied and made fun of by all types of people. And uh, there was a bunch of uh, teachers and principals trying to, you know, cover him up and trying to make him feel like he's wel welcome and everything. And I just sat there and I started scratching my head. I was like, these teachers just don't get it. They don't understand. Because, you know, they just blind. I mean, are they Christians? I don't believe they are. Because how are they going to say what Sodomite is? And when I was growing up in school, Sodomite used to be made fun of from, even the principal would make fun of them and kick them out. Now, today, you got them in uh, high schools, colleges, and everything, and it's just getting out of control. But I just thank God for yesterday when we stand up to them. But nowhere to be found. And a true church of God is, is separate all the time. It's going to always be a remnant. And the people that's all confused, they gonna, they just outside looking in because they looking for the light and can't find it. Because they keep on being disobedient all the time and keep on hanging around with all the sodomites and the fornicators and everything like Bishop Eddie Long and his congregation. Got all types of sodomites. Got a sodomite on his congregation that, uh, that's a football player, I believe in his congregation that bodyguards him and everything. And what type of pastor is that to have a sodomite in your congregation? You ain't no real pastor, you're a demon. Yeah, and we're gonna rebuke you out of the church in the name of Jesus. I think I have my sister here with Dr. Barker Bowen on the battlefield and the other people right behind him. We're gonna fight some more with the Pray much to the Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord, Saint. Praise the Lord, God is good. I give all honor to Jesus Christ, who is the head of my life. And a great God, the one true and living God, the Savior of all men, thank you, Lord, that believe. I give all honor due to our great and fearless leader, Apostle, Prophet Bishop H. Walker, who lead it, to light the truth in the battle yesterday at Atlanta, and we stepped there victorious. And you know, the Prophet got so many nasty emails and death threats, but we made a promise. We said we was going to be there. Where was the Like, Where are you at? With your rainbow flag, and your pink flag, and your big mouth, and your threats. Where were you at yesterday? True like we had a fire in the bargain. What were you? Yeah. Cowards, effeminate. Yeah, well, that's why you wear pink. But I thank God. I saw a true man of God, amen, yeah. who stood up. He even bowed down in the face of death threats, in the face of lies and scandal. He stood up like a man, like a prophet of God. And true like was right there, standing right behind the prophet. Where were you on the day? Cowards, amen. I thank God. I'm not a coward on the day. Thank you, Jesus. And I, let, let's get into this text. And I give honor to whom honor is due. And let's go to 2 Timothy chapter 2, verse 19. Because this is a very important scripture, and we can't forget this scripture. Because it applies to all those who claim to be saved. 2 Timothy 2 and 19. Nevertheless, the foundation of God stands sure. The Lord having this seal. So you know, when, when you mail off something, you seal it up, and then it's ready to go. So having this seal, this is the seal of God. The Lord knows them that are here. So I don't care how many members any long get. I don't claim I call itself new birth. I claim to be born again. The Lord knows them that are here. The Lord knows them that are saved. And if you are sodomite, a fornicator, adulterer, you are not saved on the day. We rebuke that sodomite spirit and all those people like Bill Clinton, Hillary Clinton, Obama, Oprah Winfrey, Wanda Sykes, Joy Behar, we rebuke all you devils in the name of Jesus. And all you claim to be Christian. None of you are Christian. Because a Christian will not defend something as filthy as a sodom around the day. Let everyone in name for name of Christ depart from iniquity. And I want to quickly go to Ephesians, the fifth chapter, and it begin at verse 3. But fornication and all uncleanness, uh, sodomy, uh, lesbianism, all covetousness. Let it not be named once among you as becoming saints. So how can any of those sodomized boys every day for probably over 20 years and claim to be saved on day? I thank God for the one minister who joined us from the Atlanta area. It truly was a blessing and good man. We had a good time. You know, you came lady, you want to lie about numbers, but it's not about numbers. It's not about quantity. It's about quality. Now, people out there ask me this. How many did Jesus have? Pray my strength in the Lord. 
Praise the Lord, sing. Praise the Lord, sing. Praise the Lord. Sing. Praise the Lord. God is very good to be praised. I give all honor to the Lord Jesus Christ this day. He's the head of my life. Glory to God. Thank you, God. I feel like I'm going to win an honor. I'm going to talk on Papa Father H. Walker. Glory. Glory. Come on, we're on this day. You know, uh, the last couple of weeks, by the amount of emails that we have gotten and the Father has gotten, you would think that they would have had the entire Navy and Army and Air Force Marine Corps out there against us. But you know, uh, they, they, they threaten us with everything, you know, short of a battleship and a nuclear warhead. But you know what? Uh, they didn't know how to show up. That's right. Because they're cowards. Really you, know how, you, know why, you know how I know that they, 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 they're not saved? Because God never never saved a coward. God never had nothing to do with a coward. Hallelujah. Right. But all I know in the second Timothy, uh, second chapter, verse 19, Nevertheless, the foundation of God stands assured, having this seal. The Lord, the Lord knows them that are His. That's the seal. Yeah. But you know He also knows them that are not His. Them that are not His, certainly is a sodomite. Did He call it an abomination, glory to God? Hallelujah. Did He say it was shameful? Hallelujah. So those are not His. They don't have nothing to do with Him. And... Let everyone that names the name of Christ depart from iniquity. You know, you call yourself a pastor any long, but you never departed from iniquity. You named the name of Christ, but why didn't you depart from iniquity? You're still in sin. Yes. So he said he knows those who are his, but he also knows those who are not his. So we have to understand, you know, once you claim to be a Christian, you've got to follow this Christian word. You've got to follow the word of God. Call the Bible, hallelujah. You've got to follow it. It's, it's called obedience. You know, if you could obey this word, my goodness, you, you wouldn't have no problem. But the problem is, they don't, don't teach obedience in the pulpit today. They don't teach, they don't teach uh, real doctrine in the, in the pulpit today. They don't teach any of that. Why? Because of all money. I want this. I want that. I need me a new car. I need me a new Bentley. I need me a new house. My wife needs a new fur coat. I need this. I need that. What about the people? What do the people need? I mean, what about the people, glory to God? It's not about the pastor. In that respect. It's about the pastor that's leading you, yes. But it's not about the pastor in that respect with wealth. My goodness, God didn't call a pastor to be a pastor so he could gain money from the people. Glory to God. Right, he called him to teach the people. To guide the people. Into the heavenly kingdom. How can you guide anybody anywhere if you're blind? Hallelujah. Amen. The word of God says, that you know the blind shall be the blind the voice of what? Some will fall. The book will fall into the ditch. Why? Because the one leading you, he can't see. He can't go nowhere. Hallelujah. So I, I say this. He knows those who are his. And he went on to say, let everyone that names the name of Christ depart from iniquity. you got to depart from it. Yeah. And those in you too, <laughs> you got to depart from it. You can't, you can't continue being a filthy old rag. I don't care what the pastor tells you. You cannot continue being a filthy old rag. you got to clean your act up. And the only way to do that is to be washed by the blood of Jesus. Pray much faith in the Lord. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord, true light. Praise the Lord. I say praise the Lord, true light. Oh, it feels good to be victorious today. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Lord, first and foremost, once again, uh, giving all glory, honor, and praise to Jesus Christ, the Most High God, the Creator. Amen. Amen. Giving honor to our leader, a true man of God, as you saw in Atlanta, Bishop H. Walker. Yeah. Hallelujah. A true overseer yeah. for the whole church of God. That's a whole, for the whole world. Come on Amen. in. Amen. And I'm giving honor to all my brothers and sisters in Christ. And I greet you in that precious name of Jesus Christ. Amen. You know, I'm just so excited that uh, we have spoke words up here on this panel yes, and believed by faith and actually had a chance to witness it come to pass. Amen. 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 Now, we knew that God would fight our battles. Amen. Amen. And we saw that God We'll fight our battles. Hallelujah. In Atlanta, how are you going to start a war and then not show up? Amen. That's, that's, how, how, how cowardly is that? Yes. Why? I think there's a scripture in the Word of God that says, The wicked runs when no one pursues, but the righteous is as bold as a lion. Yes. I thank God for our leader being as bold as a lion. I thank God to be a part of that. Amen. And, uh, I think as we were driving down there, uh, we saw a rainbow. I think it was me and Elder Brooks. It was a sky, a clear, clear day, but there was still a rainbow yeah. in the sky. Amen. Yeah. But see, when knowing this 